Okay, we got me, my dad, Jedi. We're out at the Coon Rapids Dam. We're out on the, I don't know if you can see it. I got it on the, kind of the widescreen, but there's the dam. That's where we parked way over there. Came across. Don't eat that. He's trying to eat the leash. He, every time he, he keeps smelling animals and he keeps doing circles growling and stuff every time he smells a small animal around he's on the lookout he's never been over here so it's kind of cool he keeps stepping in front of me to make sure checking all the trails we normally since we live on the other side we normally walk over there but we want to come see yeah it's all river rock it doesn't it doesn't feel sharp or anything it seems all right for him to walk on but as you can see the, the dam's low Hey, don't jump on me. Just kind of checking it out. Come on over here, buddy. Snarful. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you're gonna walk on water? <laughs> you see him? <laughs> Is that cold, Jed? <laughs> you just—I I hope I got that on camera. He just kept walking. I don't know if he thought he was gonna walk on the water or what. <laughs> oh, Jed, you're such a funny boy. kind of cool and you can really see how low it is it's too bad this camera's kind of crap you, you can't zoom in or nothing when you once you turn it on and it always it always looks dark I always got to brighten it up yeah there's probably there's probably 10,000 of my lures over here <laughs> come here Jed I mean, no wonder, but you know, look. I, I bet those guys at, uh, I bet you that's where they were coming, those guys carrying those metal detectors last time. I bet this, this is where they were going, right out on all this stuff. Last time we were out here, there were some guys carrying metal detectors, and they looked, it looked like they were going this way, but we never, we never go on this side. Hardly ever. We cross the dam, and then there's another trail on the far side that we usually go through, the nature trail and such. Right, Jed? Yeah, you're having fun, aren't you? Yeah, he already he already tried to eat a water fountain today. He thought it was somebody would come around the corner. There's a water fountain. He thought it was somebody trying to sneak up on us or something. So he, he had to tell the water fountain he didn't like it there. Pretty cool. You would think that this would be littered with all the lures I lost over the years, but uh, there's a guy on the other side. He's seen uh, with me and. Jim walked through there, we walked around at Princeville, we came here. There's a guy picking up, he had a whole bucket full of them. Yeah, Lures you, and weights and you can see all the all the line. Whoa. Spinning circles right here. Good driftwood, huh? Rolling the rocks, or you fucking pick them up right behind the rocks. Anything they had a flat edge or something, that was the whole grab on to something. You had a whole bucket full of fucking weights. I mean, look at all the line. Almost every big rock's got line around it. Yeah, we don't want you to step on anything. Yeah, you're a big boy, Jetty. Flint? Oh, it could be a fossil. Oh, fossil rocks? Nothing inside Remember, of it. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I was little, we were fishing out on the other side there, and, and I uh, Stay Stay I found the, the ancient fish one that I, uh, a rock kind of cracked in half, and I got this fossil. I got it somewhere around. But uh, 
it's one of the rocks cracked and half the top half came off and inside it was like a fossilized something. Look at him. Quit jumping. There's something. Yeah, yeah, there's something. Fossil thing there. There's something. It, it didn't get cracked right. It's like uh, when we were looking through the shale the one time, if you don't crack it just right, you only catch a tip of it. Yeah, you can, I'm sure there's plenty of them. We found all the ones with all the, you know, ancient coral and all that type of stuff. Okay, leave it, Ted. He's trying to dig that rock out. It's like rebar. Come on, buddy. No, yet. Yeah, watch, watch yourself, buddy. Man, there. Now that I'm looking, I don't know if you can really see on the camera here, but uh, I'm looking. There is a lot of, lot of Berkeley trilene around these rocks. It looks like when I pulled that up, it looks like there's rusted rebar in them. It's like a fossilized piece of wood. No, nah, could be. Not for dogs. No, oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Don't throw nothing. No, 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 no. No, come here. come here. Dad, you can't you can't show him something and throw it while, while I got the leash on him. He's taking me right down and I'm holding this camera. Here's another one. Here's here's one. I bet you it broke that fucker open. There's something in there. Ugh. Yeah, we we found quite a No, that one didn't. Yet. Yeah, on the other side of the dam, we find fossilized rocks and such. Come out here on a warmer day when you can, when, when it's alright to put your hand in the water to get a better look at it. Alright, Jed? That's right! Cool. Pretty awesome. Uh, ever since we got down here, my nose is running. Yes, yes. Tip that over. Check it out. You gonna check them? Flip them over, Jed. Come on, let's go. Can you flip them over? Flip them over, Jed. Flip them over. <laughs> oh no, put that down. I was wondering why he backed up. He never backs up. He grabbed a rock. He put it down. All right, buddy. Let's get going before you decide you're gonna try walking on water again. He's been in water. I don't know how many times. I don't know why he thought he could just walk. Right across there. Yeah, we should we should do that. Get get out the little little hammer and pick and come out over here and look for some fossils. That was fun that day that we did it. Our uh, fishing day didn't go so great, so we ended up breaking a bunch of rocks and found quite a few little fossilized pieces. I, I don't know what the scientific name is. But birdie! All right, come on, Jed. Jed. No, I thought this would be simple. Oh, take a few videos, send them over to nieces and nephews, show the progress that you're growing up. But you're just so curious and into everything. Yes, because you're a good boy. Uh, he just met, there was a Asian couple, looked like some immigrants, they were, uh, she wanted to know what kind of dog it was, kind of broken English, so he was just over there, it was her first time petting a German Shepherd, she was very excited about it too. So, me and Jed, we're, we're very happy to 
be the first people to introduce you to the, to the German Shepherd. Yay! Don't get wrapped around any trees, buddy. Um, over here they have a really ex exceptionally extreme leash law. So he, he does have to wear his leash, and you can tell he's not totally used to it. But which is good though, because he needs to he needs to have it on once in a while. Just because you train the dog for off leash does not mean he has to be off leash all the time. Besides, he's a puppy, right? <laughs> Every time he comes up to a a little hill or outlook, he uh, there's a creeping fountain up here that he. They have it set up so the dog gets here, Jed. Jed. No, he must not be thirsty anymore. I hope so. We'll try to save him some dignity here. Uh, your nose is running too? Yeah, the weather. It's cool. Yeah, once I once we got across the dam there my nose started running. Hey. Hey. I I know you want to play with dad, but you you can't go jumping on him like that. He's liable to turn around and beat you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, right. I don't know who's liable to lick you more, Jedi or my dad. Ah! No, stay on this side, buddy. Yeah, good boy. You're a very good boy. You're a very good boy! Yeah. Yeah, from my backyard now, he gets greeted by every dog. There's about eight or nine dogs connected to our fence. So he thinks he has to bark at every dog. He goes over and he licks them all the time. But it's the fact that everybody thinks he's like this uh, aggressive beast because he barks and barks and then he walks over there wagging his tail and licks them. Come here. Come on. He, uh... Last time we were over here, he had a little, uh, little black lab puppy, and him were playing right, a, right where he crossed the dam over here. And, uh, he barked his ass off, and the dog was afraid of him. And he realized that he made the puppy afraid of him. It was, a, it was a little puppy, maybe 15 weeks old. Come here, come here, Jed. Yeah, little buddy. Stay over here, bud. Come on. Yes, you're a good boy. Oh, you're don't chew on the leash. He keeps trying to grab the leash. He keeps trying to grab the leash. He gets a little hyper and he wants to grab the leash. Just a little frustrated. I don't think he's used to having the leash on, but watch, watch how he acts. We'll come up on there's like a what's that golden retriever kind of? Looks like an older dog. Yeah, he's older for sure. He'll bark at him. And then he'll then he'll start then he'll go over and start licking the dog's ears. He's trying to sniff your pockets. Stay on this side, Jed. Easy. Yeah. Easy, buddy. Sweet. He just barks. He he is sweet. Um, okay. He see he the neighbor dogs. They they charge the fence. He's only seven months old. They charge oh, the seven weeks. Seven, seven months. months. Whoa. Oh, you're a oh. sweetheart. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh, okay. oh. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> wow. What a cutie. Yeah, thanks. Well, you 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 scare people. Well, that's because. 
the, like I said, the neighbor dogs, they charge the fence. So he thinks when he meets a dog, he has to bark. And this means I want to play. Yeah. But people take it wrong. <laughs> you would think he wanted to come over and fight, but he's sweet. Aww. It's all right. Come on, buddy. Jed. Jed, let's go, buddy. <laughs> come on. Leave it. Yeah, I got to get him out of that park. It's it's em, it's embarrassing. Hey, it's embarrassing is what it is when he does that. But I uh, I tell people, oh, he's sweet. They don't believe you while he's barking. But yeah, you prove that you're that that you're just confused. So it's, it's those those uh, damn pit bulls next door. They charge the fence and wrench on it and uh, then they run back and forth and play but so he thinks he meets a dog well maybe I better bark 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 come here stay right next to me bud Jed close yeah let's get your face oh Jetty face yeah it's getting dark isn't it you smelt your toy in my pocket. Yeah, you smell your toy, huh? I'm trying to hold this camera on a funny angle. 